Thank you, Colleen, for that wonderful introduction. My name is Kate, and inclusion has played a huge role in who I am today. From the moment I was born, I have been fully included by my family, friends, neighbors, schools, colleagues at work, and pretty much anyone who interacts with me. I am happy. I have friends and am able to function independently in the world. I would like to tell you a little bit about what I am doing now and how I got here. My name is Kate Bartlett and I am 28 years old. I live in Arlington with my mom and dad. My youngest brother, Mike, just moved to New York. Although I miss my brother, I love having a bathroom all to myself. <laughs> I have been attending Middle Success Community College. I work at Aquint, a company in Boston. I am a public speaker, as you all know. <laughs> I've spoken at a number of MDSC and NDSC events. Probably my most important speaking was in 2006 at a Senate hearing in Washington, D.C. The hearing was on employment programs for persons with disabilities. I spoke about my very normal life and listened to speakers who did not have the job opportunities that I had. I got to meet and spent time with Senator Kennedy. As a result of this, I received the NDSS Award, Voices Award, at Tavern on the Green in New York City. I also have an active social life. What I'm doing right now is that I am a participant in, I participated in graduation at Middlesex Community College in May, although I still have one class to left to take my associate's degree. I work at Aquint in Boston. Aquint is a staffing company for creative people such as marketers, writers, graphic artists, and designers. I work in the Human Resource Department, where I put together and send out benefit mailings, record and deposit COBRA checks, and put together spreadsheets, among other, other things. I've been taking dance classes and community education classes such as Glee for Grown Ups and Love to Sing. Springboard is a social organization that has events for adults with disabilities. The events are usually in Boston or Cambridge and have included plays, sporting events, dinners, picnics, and cruises. Through Springboard, I met some good friends who I get together with outside of Springboard events. I still see a handful of my high school friends. We shop, go out to dinner and plays. I've been to one friend's wedding and was just asked to be a bridesmaid at another friend's wedding which is exciting news for myself, <laughs> and for the ride. <laughs> I try to stay in shape and work out at my local gym, Fitness First. I volunteer at the MDSC Advisory Advocates in Motion, MDSC conferences and NDSC conference. I enjoy working with young people with Down syndrome. I am on the 
MPSE Self Advisory Advocate Advisory Council, where we plan events and programs for young adults with Down syndrome. I am also a member of the Massachusetts Developmental Disabilities Council. I like to go to the theater and movies, shop, travel, and hang out with my friends. At Middlesex Community College, I only have one class left, which is math. I attended it part-time. I also loved their theater courses there. I was in two productions, Into the Woods, and A Midsummer Night's Dream. I played a fairy, Peas Blossom. And I also took public transportation. I took the bus to and from school. And from school, I went into work in Boston. I go to class independently. My first semester there, my mom was my academic support. The MCC provides support that allowed me to be successful. They required note takers, extended test time in quiet setting, tutors for every subject. And great teachers, they want their students to succeed. Okay, my school experiences. The teachers had high expectations. In early intervention at one month, I was in Sunshine Nursery School, a typical preschool. I was in regular classes in grammar school, middle, and high school. I known Carol Cons from grades 12, second, and 12th grade. I had the same curriculum as everyone, worked very hard at home and at school. And I passed the MCAST and graduated at the age of 18. I wasn't getting it, so this is the first time I got pulled out. So my assistant teacher, Mrs. Cons, we use a spiral math program. And successfully I completed high school algebra and geometry. Um, my PowerPoint presentation. In middle school, my mom gave a presentation to all my teachers in September. And in high school, I gave the presentation on my strengths and weaknesses and teaching tips. I'll present this one next. Okay, in nursery school, I had good role models, and made friends, and I went to birthday parties. My social, grammar school, my classmates supported me. For an example, one year we had to log in the time we left in the classroom to go to the bathroom. 
I couldn't read the analog clock. So the girl who sat next to the log would whisper the time to me. In fifth grade gym class, a boy yelled at me that I was, it was my fault our team lost the race. The entire team told him to stop being a baby. It wasn't anyone's fault. And then reported it to a teacher. I had an active social life, was a Girl Scout, played soccer, and friends. In middle school, I was in the chorus and had few friends. The friend thing was definitely harder in middle school because people are busier. In high school, I was on the swim team and earned four varsity letters. I was a co-captain my senior year. I was a member of the chorus, and we traveled to Canada, Charleston, South Carolina, and the Hudson River Valley to perform. I attended every prom and dance. I took dance class, volunteered at Leahy Clinic, one summer and worked at Macy's one holiday season. I had friends, and some are still friends today. I graduated with my class, applied to colleges, and received scholarships. My formula for success was um, my assistant teacher, Mrs. Collins, who was my academic support, Teacher, I had accommodations and everyone had high expectations. Mrs. Collins, I think a huge reason for my success in school is that I had the same assistant teacher, Carol Collins, from second grade until I graduated. When I met Mrs. Collins in second grade, she had a master's degree and 18 years of teaching experience. She is a very smart lady. Mrs. Collins figured out how I learned and taught me in a way I could understand. She also knew that I could learn even though it usually took me longer than the other students. She worked well with each of my teachers and within each classroom. In elementary school, the other students didn't know she was in a class for me. They loved having two teachers in the class. Their parents also loved that. Mrs. Collins coordinated with my mom, who worked with me at home. And Mrs. Collins kept me focused. She would summarize, review, preview material, switch gears when I got overwhelmed, gave me cues and prompted me. She took notes and recorded homework, coordinated with teachers and my mom, and went over homework, helped me study the tests, use mnemonics, and she encouraged me. I had accommodations, I learned the same material, and took the same tests. I had extra time, clear directed directions for phrasing when necessary. I used visual organizers, books on tape, and untimed tests, detailed study guides, test copies to narrow the field. <coughs> extra directed studies in high school, and one-on-one -on -one tutoring in those studies. My future plan is to complete the one course for my associate's degree, continue my career in the Human Resources Department, and act in community theater, singing classes as a hobby.
continued to travel, moved into an apartment in a few years. Just got on the list. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope to get my driver's license at some point. I am lucky to have great educational opportunities, being included in typical classes with the same curriculum as other students, allow me to pass the MCAS, graduate high school, attend college, and get a job. Inclusion also helped me develop good social skills. Of course, inclusion was only possible for me because I had support and because my parents and teachers had high expectations for me 